Hey guys, Ashley here, and today we are going to be, that's not my comic books, opening up these comic books. And I forgot the scissors, but it shouldn't be hard to open these. It doesn't, they're just plastic wrapped over, it's not tape. So this is the three pack of comics from Walmart. And it says three great Marvel comics, one terrific price. And I believe these are like $5. I'm not really sure I got this for Christmas. I know I've seen them before, but I can't think of the exact price. But anyway, I just got the Marvel one, and the first one is The Unbelievable Gwynpool, and I really want to read that. And I've been just sort of putting aside opening these just because I haven't had the time, and now we're getting it open. So it actually took me a while to adjust the camera to the right height so that my head wasn't completely cut off, just because of how high up my new bed is. But I got it figured out. Um... I talked about that in, in a vlog and just sort of showed a little bit of the the bed and that kind of thing. But I don't know if you'll be seeing... You'll probably see this before the, the vlog, actually. I'm not sure. So, anyway... We're still recording, right? Okay, good. Okay, so our first one, of course, is the Unbelievable Gwen Pool. Ooh, the next one's X-Men. Okay, I'm going to turn that upside down so I can't see. So, the first one is Gwen Pool. And I love the cover art on this, actually. I really like the style there. A bit of the inside. Yeah, I really like the artwork on this one. Um, let's see. There's an ad in the back for the Marvel MasterCard. And then the ad on the very back is for Captain America Civil War. It says, choose your side, choose your screen. Captain America Civil War now available on iTunes. It's also now on Netflix. So if you have Netflix and you haven't got to see this yet, or you want to see it, or you want to see it again, then go ahead and check that out on Netflix because I actually just watched it again last night and I still very much so love it. I actually saw it twice in theater and then this is my first time seeing it out of theater because I went the first time with my cousin and then the second time with my brother. So let's see. There's a little thing in here for the Marvel Unlimited app and then there's a thing on the back for... Uh, subscriptions at marvel.com slash viv um, don't really know what this is subscribe to champions for only twenty one ninety nine, more than 50% off cover price with code word viv oh okay um, so I probably won't do this so I'll hold this up and yeah I'm not going to do this obviously so I'm just going to hold this up and you guys can kind of see that and if you have a scanner you can scan that um, so yeah that's pretty cool that back in there. There's also an ad in here for a Marvel Custom Edition, the Incredible M&M's 75th Anniversary. I thought that was cute. So, set this aside, and our next one, as I said, was this Extraordinary X-Men. This is issue 8. It's got a bonus digital edition, X-Men Apocalypse Wars. So the cover price on this one is, is uh, $4.99, so like five dollars and something after taxes and the cover price on this one is 3.99 so with just these two comics that's already more of a value like than what they sell them for because it's only like five dollars and you get three and one comic is already almost five dollars so that's actually a really good deal so anyway we have the extraordinary x-men of course the all these ones are an even better deal but only if you're actually like what am I, what word am I looking for? Like, only if you, like, don't care that you're getting a mixture of companies and you're looking for something that might introduce you to a few new comics because, obviously, the Walmart ones are themed and at Ollie's, you're just getting a random pack of comics. So the first ad in, the ad in this one at the front is the, uh, Mun Munchkin Foo thing. I've heard of this, but I really have no idea what it is. And then there's an ad on the back for the Marvel Custom Edition M&M's thing again. It's a different one, though. Also, let's just take a moment to appreciate the artwork on these. I very seldom find artwork in Marvel comics that I don't really like. So, yeah, let's just take a moment to appreciate that. Same with DC, really. Though I didn't care as much, like, for in the kids' comics, there was, like, the Superman Family Adventures. The art style in that didn't wow me, though I did read a few of those. There's also an ad in the back for the Lego Avengers game. 
I've actually kind of wanted that game, but I think I'm going to get the Lego Star Wars one. And then over here, it's like ads for the other X-Men comics in the series. And let's see what our last one was. Our last one is... Oh, it's Secret Wars. Issue 8 of 9. Second printing. Nice. Look at that. I said that so, so strangely. That's cool. That thing on the front. I really like that artwork. Like, if I had to choose a favorite of these, this is my favorite. And then on the back is actually the artwork again, but without the title. Or would this really be the front? I'm not sure. Let me see. No, this is the front. It's kind of like a manga. That is so cool. I mean, granted, starting at issue 8 wouldn't be helpful for most people, but I actually have these digitally. Like, there's nothing that's going to replace the feeling of actually having a comic for me, but I do read digitally as well on Comixology. Yeah, that is just really neat. There's the digital copy thing. Not going to reveal the code, but like if any of you are curious, it's on a page in the comic and it's got the thing. I'm not going to reveal the code on this, even though I have them digitally, because I'll probably let my cousin have that code. Um, my Either my older cousin or my younger one. I don't know if my younger one cousin, cousin uses the app, but my older one would be interested, so I'm not going to show the code, even though I have it. And let's see here. It's an ad in the front for the Nightmare Before Christmas. Not really sure. Game, I guess. Hmm. And then the ad in the back is for the Marvel Legends, which I've recently gotten into collecting, as you know. Still, I only really have the, uh, the Doctor Strange when I reviewed, but I will be doing more reviews of them and getting more of them. I've also thought it might be kind of neat if after I've got a lot of them, I did like little five to ten minute skits with them, but I'm not really sure. Just... I watch so many people do things like that, like with dolls and and stuff, that I think it would just be really cool to try something with them, like with the action figures. I don't know about doing any skits with, like, my American Girl dolls, but with the action figures, that would be pretty cool. And I don't really know how unique it would be, but I don't watch anyone who does it, so I've never seen it, it done, but I think it would be cool. So anyway, I almost forgot. I didn't read the price on this one. This is $3.99, and these two... All three of these actually are teen rated, but anyway, um, yeah, these are really cool and a really good value. So three ninety nine on this one, four ninety nine on this one, and three ninety nine on this one normally. So for five dollars for these three comics, that is actually saving quite a lot. So that's definitely a good deal, and I am definitely really happy with the comics I got, especially the Gwynpool one. <laughs> Gwynpool and X-Men, because obviously I've read Secret Wars. I am happy to have a physical copy of one, though. And like I said, I just love that artwork. So thank you all so much for joining me for this comics, um, comic book opening. And I thank you to my camera for not cutting off, because this is still my old camera, obviously. I'm filming this not too long after that vlog, so this is obviously still the old camera, but... Um, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, I hope that you'll stick around for whatever I end up doing next. Uh, bye, guys!